Hi, and welcome back. This week on Senior Moments, our weekly retirement segment here on Bay 10, we interview someone I've been looking forward to meeting all week. We've all heard of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Now meet Tampa's first senior superhero. Welcome. Uh, actually, I don't think I know your name. Uh, well, my given name is Floyd, but my superhero name is Cod. And uh, thanks, it's good to be here. Actually, my age is good to be anywhere. Cod, you mean like the fish? Oh, no, no, it's an acronym. It stands for cranky old dude. I see. <laughs> yeah, just about everything pisses me off. So then, as a superhero, what is it that you do exactly? Well, I attend HOA meetings in over 55 communities, sit in the first row and ask the tough questions that need to be asked. Like what? Oh, like, um, you know, why is it taking so long to fix the pool? And uh, when are you going to swap out the dead trees and plantings around here? <laughs> Stuff like that. Wow, and do residents pay you to do this? No, no, I'm a superhero. Superheroes don't take pay for the things they do. Oh, that's right, I, I forgot. I do it simply because I like to, because it's my duty to use my God-given talents to help others. Wow, that is really noble of you. So, do you fly to meetings like Superman? Are you kidding? Too dangerous. That's for the younger guys. Well, how do you get around? Have you ever heard of the Iditarod Walker? <laughs> by, a by a strange coincidence, I have. But how far can you get in one of those? Uh, how about the premium model? It's street legal. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you should see the looks I get. I'll bet. I just flip them off and keep going. Oh, 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 okay, um, so tell me, Cod, what situations have you worked on that our listeners might have heard about? Uh, well, first of all, I usually only work in Southern Hillsborough County. Okay. Uh, I used to go into Tampa proper, but I kept getting tickets for weaving in and out of traffic when it moves too slowly. So screw them! Boy, you are cranky. You want to make something of it? Oh, no, I was just saying. Yeah, well, just say something else. Oh, okay, okay. So, as I was saying, what situations have you worked on that our listeners might have heard about? Uh, well, uh, I got some traffic lights put in on Route 41 in Apollo Beach. Real hazardous, lots of accidents before they got them lights installed. Uh-huh, anything else? Yeah, sure. I've gotten an, any number of landscaping companies and cable companies kicked out when they did a crappy job. You pay your money and they treat you like you don't exist. I tell you what. I'm caught. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you don't fly, what superpowers do you have? Uh, first of all, let me point out that you can be a superhero even if you don't have superpowers as such. But as it happens, I have lots. Like what? Well, for one thing, I am not politically correct. I've noticed. But why is that a superpower? Are you kidding? I can say anything to anyone and get away with it. How many people do you know who can do that? Not in this line of work, not many. There you go. But how do you dare to speak out so frankly? Uh, simple. I enjoy elder privilege. Elder privilege? Yeah, you know, like... Uh, when you're past a certain age, and no matter what you say, people have to just live with it because nobody wants to be seen as picking on the old guy. Wow, you're right. When my grandparents tell me what's wrong with this generation and how it used to be, I just shut up and listen. Yeah, neat, huh? And very powerful. I'll say. But you said you had lots of superpowers. What are others that you have? Well, uh, some of them are secret. Yeah, I can't just reveal all my powers. Okay, but surely you can share one more with us before we're done here. Well, I can pass gas at will. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be a superpower? How do you use that? Well, as the people get older, they don't see so well or they become hard of hearing. Sometimes you get people's attention quickly in a dangerous situation. <laughs> I'm not bragging, but I can clear a room in 90 seconds. <laughs> so for those who don't see or hear well, you... Yeah, but you've never heard of anyone who's hard of smelling, have you, Toots? No. 
Well, there you go. I, I can't believe we're talking about passing gas on the air. Well, you asked the question. So I did. And I answered it. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for being with us this evening, Cod. I'm sure our listeners learned a lot. I know I did. By the way, how can someone call you if they need your help? Do you have something like the bat signal? Yeah, the bat signal only works at night, and I'm in bed by 8.30. Uh, <laughs> just tell them to text 813-COD-CALL, and I'll be there as soon as I can. Well, there you have it, folks. Tampa's first senior superhero. Just keep it right here on May 10, because when we return, weather girl Rhonda Storm will tell us how our winter storm is shaping up. <laughs> Okay, madam. <laughs> Do you need an elderly superhero? <laughs> I don't know why I did it right outside. It's street legal. 